Last month at the 060 station opening in Rhinelander, we had an interview with Wade Leopold from FTI, which is the founder of the new 060 CPO. I also talked with Joe Vancic, who has his hands in everything 060 does nationwide, including making sure the charging equipment is working. They worked through some problems in Rhinelander in the last month, but as I record this, all four stalls are available. What are you guys doing to maintain and ensure people that these uh, ChargePoint Express Plus are going to be working in January yeah. and forward. Yeah, Yeah, so a great question. So uh, number one, uh, FTI, the developer of this site, we also have a national service team. And along with that service team, we have a 24-7 command center that monitors all our assets from California all the way to New York and, of course, right here in Wisconsin. And then, of course, our field team, we're ready to drop a truck and roll trucks to our sites in California New York. And again, as I mentioned to you earlier, we have fields and resources right here in Wisconsin. So Wisconsin-based company, but we're capable of going coast to coast and right here in the Northwoods. How important is uh, Nevi to, to, and, and your GM Energy Partnership to getting this going and rolling? You know, um, it, it's helpful. But at 060 and FTI, we're not trying to chase Navi around the country. We're trying to build great EV charging stations that are profitable and are going to be a benefit to the community and the drivers, um, but also be a great uh, retail opportunity for our business to sell electricity. So Navi's a bonus, but it's not a necessity. The um I feel like Nevi is helping build out this state, especially um, mm -hmm. because there were a lot of holes, a lot of deserts, yes. whatever you want to call yes. them. Um, now we've got, this is the ninth live Nevi site. Yeah, um, it's exciting. It is, it's exciting yeah. to me. Very uh, exciting. You know, just in covering uh, EV charging and going around the state and seeing what's available. Like, you're opening up a lot of spaces for people to drive their EVs, right? Yes. What does that, um, and you guys, all your trucks are these Silverado yeah, yeah. Uh, work trucks. So it's like you guys are practicing what you preach, right? We are. Yep, we are. Our, we we charge at our shop, we charge at home, and then we charge on the road at hopefully our 060 sites across Wisconsin. Um, what is, are there more Wisconsin sites in the, in the so, future? So yeah, so our site acquisition team is here. As we mentioned, we're a turnkey operation, real estate site act. Um, you know, engineering, construction, and of course service. So our site act team is actively working on uh, more sites right here in our hometown. How important is it for you guys to be in your backyard? Because you've had stations in New York, yep. uh, Colorado, and, and more in yeah, California. Yeah, we, we started in New York, in California, and Colorado. So we're very excited to be in our home state and certainly to partner with Culver's, uh, you know, another Wisconsin staple. So it, it's, it's great, but it also allows uh, the, the broader team to come out and see this charger as opposed to bringing the whole team out to California or out to New York. And that's why we have such a large group of the project team. I mean, we literally we have real estate engineers here, construction managers. This is a great opportunity for us to go and celebrate a little bit in our hometown. It's a little easier here than going to California. Yeah, 100%. Uh, a little cheaper to yeah. the airfare yep. too. How uh, important has ChargePoint been uh, as a partner for you yeah, guys? Yeah, they, they've been a great partner, uh, helping making, uh, number one, introductions to site hosts. They have a, a huge footprint across the country. Um, and then, of course, uh, you know, utilizing three different hardware platforms with them, uh, CP250s, 280s, and Express Plus across our whole portfolio, and really allowing us to customize which hardware uh, makes the most sense for each site. because. All sites are different and we need to be able to, to be nimble and, and make good decisions for uh, the station. So that uh, that leads me into my uh, next question about the Omniport. Yeah. Um, it, it's kind of a, a, a huge game changer. Everybody probably carries an adapter, yep. but for the one person that doesn't who just drove their Chevy Bolt, you know, brand new off, yeah. of, the, off of the lot here in Rhinelander yep. and wants to charge it up, uh, they have the capabilities. They, they do. So at 060, our stations are going to be deployed with... Um, CCS1 and NAX capabilities. Now at some of our sites in California, we're utilizing two different plugs on the station. What's great about this Culver site in Rhinelander is we're utilizing Omniport. And what Omniport does is allows the plug to transform from CCS1 to NAX, depending on the vehicle that you pull up with. The added bonus to that is in your ChargePoint app, if you already have your car as part of your profile, as soon as you scan your phone, that it will deploy the right uh, the right uh, 
plug for you. So adapters are not needed. I, I've seen that uh, a Tesla driver not at a CCS station, yes. not not realizing that yep. oh that's not yeah. going to work. Um, so it goes both ways, right? Like I think yep. most people are, t are thinking adapters mm -hmm. to the Tesla yes. plugs for the yep. superchargers, but here you're and, and in a station, the nearest supercharger is 30 miles away in Monaco. Yeah. Yep. So uh, it, it can be important. Do you guys expect a lot of uh, Max? Omniport usage? We certainly hope so. I mean, in our other markets, uh, we're seeing, high, seeing a high level, um, you know, use of, of uh, NACS-enabled vehicles, Tesla and others. And as we all know, the other OEMs are, are moving towards NACS as well. So we want to be ready for that. We don't want to be, you know, reactive and start retrofitting our stations after the fact. So we're opening day one with both capabilities and Omniport is a big part of it. And um, I think this is like one of three Omniport locations in the whole country. So pretty exciting it's that Culver's Rhinelander gets one of the very first Omniports. As part of the opening, uh, yeah. you guys have a, a discount we do. Uh, for yeah. people that are coming through here, which is which yeah. is great. So, so um, again, we're partnering with Culver's on this location, and and for those Wisconsinites that know, Culver's is celebrating their 40, 41st year uh, of existence, and uh, to celebrate through January 5th with a special connection code, you can get uh, 41 cents per kilowatt hour um, using a, a QR code on your ChargePoint app. You only have to download it one time, and it's stays in your app for this location through January 5th, 2026. So we'll be pushing that code out on various social media platforms and uh, in an upcoming press release and, and hopefully on your channel. Yes, 100%. Uh, so if you're coming up here to uh, hunt or ice fish yeah. or snowmobile, yes. um, you know, bring your uh, Vistic or Optic or, or whatever other GM vehicle yeah. or your Rivian that's towing your, your sleds. A absolutely, stop here for 20, 30 minutes, have some cheese curds at Culver's and, and uh, be fully charged up and ready to go.